All right, folks, we are now on to our fourth out of the, our fifth video, which will be working on our buses. We have our, we have all of our stuff. Our percussion is all sent to our drum sub. We have our samples. Um, all of them are sent to our sample bus, and then we have our bass bus, 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 and all of those are sent to our bass bus, of course. So we have our sample bus and our bass bus already have a compressor on it, but that's because we have some side chaining going on from that's being sent from bus five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a compressor on each of these channels. We're going to use the same. Oops, we're going to use our Pro C. And we are also going to throw on, I'll do our side chaining later down the chain. We're also going to do an EQ because got an EQ. And then um, I'm thinking on our sample bus, I think what I'll do is I'll do a stereo spread. However, I'm not 100% sure on if I want to do that yet. Um, we'll, we'll get to that. Um, so I'm going to mute everything and we're going to work on our we'll turn our compressor on here and for this there's a preset actually in here for bus and I find it to work very very well actually so we're going to go up here and we're going to turn our loop on and we're going to listen to our bass bus or our drum sub I should say and what we want to listen for is we want to list we want to get about four to six dB that's what I usually shoot for on a bus uh, maybe three, depending on how, it, again, it's all up to how it sounds. If it sounds too compressed at 4 dB, then we'll back it off at three and maybe even two. Um, so percussion buses, I generally like to have a faster attack because we have our kick, our snare, we have a lot of stuff with um, very transient. Um, so I like to do that. And if you really want to thin it out, you could have a, a slower release. Um, or I like to have kind of a thick, so I like to have kind of a faster release. Um, and then the ratio, I usually bring it down to roughly two, and then this. So let's listen and see what we can get. So to me, 3 dB is sounding a bit over compressed to me. So really the only thing that is being compressed is the kick, um, which is fine because we're kind of bringing everything down and that's also affecting everything else. So we're kind of leveling everything out, which is totally fine. It, it, it works for this kind of relaxed, um, this relaxed hip hop. So in fact, we could even go with a faster or a slower release to kind of really kind of give, give everything its, it's really kind of bring it back a little bit. I think that sounds really good actually. So let's move on to our sample bus and we'll do our compression on that. Um, again, we'll change this to bus because I think it works really well. Then we have a lot of transients in here, so let's bring it back. Uh, bring our ratio down so we're not hitting it so hard. Let's see how this sounds. Okay, so we're not hard, we're hardly getting any compression here. threshold back. I I think that sounds pretty good. So now we'll move on to our bass bus. Again, we'll start with bus. Um, bass, we don't, well, we have some transients, but we don't want to kill them. 
So let's have a slower with the bass because we have kind of a sustained bass. And let's do back it way off. We'll do a softer one. Let's see how this sounds. So as you can see here, we have kind of a soft uh, compression going going on. I, I like how that's sounding. It sounds a little bit over compressed to me, um, but I think it kind of works with this because um, it, it brings out some artifacts that I really like. Um, so let's let's um, listen to our reference track um, so far and see how it sounds in accordance to that. Weird, almost spot on with that reference track. Um, that's I like to hear that. Um, so now that we have our compressor compression going on for our buses, very very subtle. Again, you don't want to overdo it because this is where you can really do some damage to your track. Really be subtle. When you start getting in, we're starting to slowly transition into the mastering phase, and we're kind of gluing everything together. We don't want to overdo it. Subtlety is key. Keep everything very subtle. 2 dB of compression, maybe even a decibel and a half, just to kind of level everything out, kind of catch those transients, and just glue everything together very, very subtly. And again, it's up to taste. How does it sound? If it doesn't sound compressed enough for you at 1.5 dB, then maybe go up to 2 or even 3. Um, again, use your ears. That's key in this. Just don't listen for pumping very very carefully you got to listen for pumping so now we're going to go into the EQing section of this so we have our drum sub so let's let's enable the EQ on our drum sub and we'll we'll see what we have going on so we have very very quietly we have below 20 hertz um, we don't need any of that, um, so I like to, to just chop it off, 20 hertz, and uh, let's bring that up, maybe not that much, Do 6, bring it down, but we don't need anything below 20 hertz, just, it's rumble, it, it just takes up headroom, and it just clears everything. Also, we don't really need anything above 20k. Um, however, I'm going to listen, and we're going to go six. Let's see, we're at 20. Let's see how it sounds. I think I think that works. Um, let's see if we can enhance anything else. Again, EQing, same thing with compression. Subtlety, subtlety. See, I don't really like that range. Right around 400 hertz. Generally, with percussion, especially on a bus. Gives, it gives you that kind of boxy now noise and I don't like it. So I, I usually like to chop some of it out. Let's move on to our sample bus. Let's cut 
everything, let's cut everything below 30 hertz. I like to do a harsh cut one on buses. Do six for resonance. And everything below 30 is gone. That works. And now we'll go on to our bass bus. We'll see how all that sounds. Again, um, let's cut everything below 20 hertz simply because it's just rumble. everything above 2000 let's go let's actually just just because we're really cleaning up the mix at this point so we've done all that we've compressed we've EQ'd our buses um, let's check our reference track again quick So in the reference track, I'm hearing that it's our samples are a bit brighter, and I remember because I killed some of the higher frequencies. So let's uh, let's bring some of those back. Much better. That's good. We have our EQ. We have our compression. Now I want to throw on some like a let's see it's mm -hmm, can't remember where it's at modulation here it is under tremolo not tremolo spreader so is this it I guess I gotta <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Oh, it does sound cool though. Imaging. Direction mixer. No, that's not it either. I'm not, I can't, I don't use it very often, so I can't remember where it's at. Stereo spread. That's it. Yep, this is it. So, let's, uh, let's move up and above a thousand. So what this is doing is this range here, this looks like from 1K to 2K, it's taking it and it's panning it hard left. And then from 2.3K 2, 2 to roughly 4K, 3K, it's panning it hard right. And this is on the sample bus, so all the samples, all those frequencies, it kind of really plays with your head. It really, it's kind of cool. Um, and again, it's very... Keeping things subtle is important here. So I, I like that. It 
It's very subtle, but I like it. And it moves, it kind of moves everything. Gives it a little bit of energy. So let's uh, unsolo that and we'll... Why do I hear, why does it sound like we're doubling something here? Oh, it might help to mute the reference. Um, I like how that's sounding. Let's check our reference quick. I think it sounds really good. In the reference track, our kick is a little bit more clicky. It's got a little bit more punch. Um, however, in this one, um, I have it sitting more in the lower range, which is fine. Um, it's more thumpy, I guess. Um, so that being said, um, we've got our compression and our EQ on our buses. We've got our side chain going for our samples and our bass bus. And we also have a stereo spread on our sample bus. So, before we move on to our last video, um, we are going to double check our levels. We just checked our reference and it, it works for me. So let's check our levels quick and make sure that we're not clipping and that we're hitting right around our negative six and we're sitting right in that same range. That's that's great. We are we are right on track here. Um, our levels are perfect. Um, we have our panning, compression, EQ. Everything sounds good. It's compared to our reference. Everything sounds really good. So now let's move on to our our last and final video. We're going to do the final export. Um, I'll go over some details with that, and then we're going to bring it into Ozone Seven, and we will master it.